start off by saying first I also didn't see the point of the class at the start. I was like, wait, everybody is already on social media. Why do I need a class on social media? But I don't know, as I got into the class and as I got into the content, I realized how important it is for you to use social media to promote whatever it is. It doesn't have to be business related, but it's a powerful tool. And I would encourage people to not take the class lightly because as we see, it doesn't just stop in the class, it goes beyond that. When we use social media on an everyday basis, we just use it for like regular interactions, nothing important, sharing memes and during the course of this project I actually learned the extent of which social media can take you. Time is very important to me or any business person in general and if it is you have an idea or a particular skill that you know people would want to know about because that is also a very important part of the course is knowing what your audience wants right so if you know the people you surround yourself with which are your facebook friends the people on social media that you would interact with if you know what are their interests you capitalize on that my greatest success during my project was being um, promoted by the main actress of the television show Gillian Anderson herself she reposted my countdown on all of her social media pages which coincidentally were the exact social media pages that I did my project on and for each platform she actually linked each of my pages. I grew up actually in charity work because my mother is a social worker right so I decided to incorporate something that I like to do which is to empower young people especially those from inner city communities through my blogs and vlogs and just social media in general and before I started the project I had a Twitter where I, I would post stuff about just youth empowerment and lessons that you could learn and what, what I've learned from you know living in an inner city community. Sometimes you um, take up these courses and you feel well I'm just doing this to get grades so just so in some cases I just want to pass right however depending on, on your enthusiasm for the course and sometimes depending on the project that you choose for yourself you never know where it could take you because had anybody said to me before I did the social media course you know they may not be writing for somebody on a semi-regular basis I say, mm -hmm. Facebook was largely successful because I tend to fo I was focusing on photography uh, using that to showcase the musicians themselves so that people could, uh, you know, they could see the, 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 the vibe of a concert. And, uh, you know, it, it got a lot of attention because, you know, people like to not only see themselves, but they like to see all these beautiful pictures of kind of stuff. I started off braiding hair since I was probably 10 years. I would practice and braid my own hair. Then I would braid my sister's hair, my mom's hair, any close relative. That was all the clients that I had because I never looked at this skill as a business, right? And when I did this particular course, communication via social media, it, it sort of set a foundation for me and my business today. If you have a business, if you have a project, a course that you want shared with everybody, social media is a really, really um, important place to take your work because that's where all the traffic is that's where everybody interacting that's where you will get the most amount of um, feedback support that's where people would actually see your work it just so happened I was up on my computer uh, this would have been about half past two in the morning right I was just watching on Facebook and somebody posted a video where there was a, a incident on Arpita Avenue where um, a young lady decided to, to vent her frustrations at the boyfriend on his vehicle just like that I just decided let me just start to type my my feelings about this mob mentality and I posted it to the um, to the blog one of um, one of, well, I had to say colleague now, um, that is Lasana Leiber, the editor of Wired 68, whom I had met previously um, through another course. When he saw what I had produced, he said, um, 
Damien, I just wanted permission because I'm going to, to run with this. And then he reproduced my blog on his website, the YD Sixit website, and it took off. I didn't start off thinking about this being a photography based project, but I very quickly realized the need for it and just adapted to suit and um, it evolved into something far beyond what I originally imagined it too. Although the A was important to me, the A would only go so far and the response is something that is still happening, it's still ongoing. You know, I wanted to, to see where social media could, uh, could take the actual rock and I actually cared about my project. I loved doing it, so like, and I really did. I enjoyed the videos and I learned a lot in the process. I feel extremely or more proud of the fact that I've established and turned a dream into a reality. I really want to be a, um, a community manager for a social media page of a television show um, because I think with that I could also incorporate my skill of being a graphic designer. Any ideas I have, I could actually make my own campaign, I could actually put out my own look. If you write, well in my case, if you write and you like writing, what you, the satisfaction you get when people read your, when people not just read your stuff, but come back and tell you that they've read your stuff. That was more satisfying to me than, than the A that I eventually got. I'm thankful for the A nonetheless.